Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. It really does mean the world that you are here. Now, the Christmas season, like a lot of people will know, and hopefully my subscribers, that is one of my most favourite times of the year. It really, really is. I love how things just seem to change and how people change. And as we come into the Christmas season, everybody seems to have a little bit more time, even though yet we're all kind of getting ourselves stressed out and worked out about getting the right gift and having to do the Christmas shopping and making preparations perfect. However, that sometimes trips me up, and I have to admit, I always try to aspire to have things perfect, but yet sometimes striving for perfection, especially this time of year, can end up affecting your health, can end up affecting you, it can really affect your well-being, and just sometimes it can make you feeling pretty damn deflated and pretty completely the opposite of what you set out to do. So this is my message, that Christmas in all its glory will happen, it will arrive, and it will take place. Now, nine times out of ten, it's probably going to be absolutely amazing, and it will be one which you'll remember. There's always that little element which we can't plan for. We can never, ever plan to make life perfect. Life is not perfect, and that's what makes it so precious. That's what makes it so memorable, and that's why we need to cherish every element of it. Now, for me, somebody who lives with a long-term standing issue in regards to vertigo, I always get a bit of a, a bit of a kick, um, and I don't mean a positive one. I always get if I'm doing too much, or if I'm striving to do, uh, let's say, juggle too much, or trying to do work, trying to organise this, trying to do the Christmas preparations, trying to run around doing everything, and yet. I'm not really necessarily taking care of myself or making sure that I have a good sleep pattern or even making sure that I sleep enough or eat well, then I tend to quite simply have a pretty nasty vertigo attack. And that's what happened over the weekend. And it takes me a couple of days to come back on my feet. Um, so th I was thinking about this when I was getting ready this morning and starting work because I start work super early in the morning for around six o'clock and then I finish later on in the afternoon. And I've got the rest of the day of different things which I do. Nine times out of ten, that's different jobs this time of year. And I say jobs, um, I mean different sort of I always have do myself like a, a to do list to do and then I get through that each day. This time of the year, um, I always start. Literally, when summer comes to an end, I'm starting. So literally, you could probably say we have my mum's birthday on the 6th of September. Then after that, I'm starting into Christmas preparations. Now, I'm done, but now I'm helping everybody else. And of course, preparing things which sort of we need for everything to be let's say, perfect. And I know I'm trying to say here that it doesn't have to be perfect, but there's a lot of preparations. For example, finishing off the decorations, setting the fresh tree, uh, food preparations, getting that organized, um, Christmas shopping, helping others in my family, catching up with people, and just so many different things. For example, my list later on to do today is to catch up with the florist for my nan's flowers. I no longer have my nan. She is my absolute world, um, but she is up above. She is with me always, and I always have a huge fresh wreath, and as a family, we lay that uh, at her uh, bench Christmas Eve, as I always used to spend that on Christmas Eve. I've also got to uh, get on top of some wrapping a little bit later on. I've got some course work, which I want to finish as well, because I do a number of courses in the background. Um, love training, love learning. So all around finance and business. So a lot going on there. Um, today, it was also my niece's nativity play. So I need to catch up there. Um, just lots, lots. I'm, I'm just, you can well imagine as well as juggling a really busy time at work at the moment. So what I always do is I put this down on a list. But I was really sort of going 100 miles an hour last week with things. Then got to Friday, woke up and was feeling a little bit lightheaded. And I thought to myself, do you know what? I'm really, really starting to feel a little bit uneasy because if anybody's had vertigo at all before, it just makes you feel pretty like you've been spun off your feet type thing. So then that's kind of a cue for me to, you need to take a breath, rattle, you need to sit down for a little while, perhaps have something to eat, um, make a hot drink, and then just relax for a little bit, perhaps for the rest of the evening. It's a long-standing issue. I usually know what happens, but yeah, I don't never quite learn from it. So <laughs> what and I, and I chuckle about it now, but it certainly is not. And it's still about me a little bit today. But I was then, I had a nice weekend, but the back end of the weekend, Sunday evening, I was really very unwell. And then Monday uh, morning, I was really very unwell uh, with vertigo. Um, so then it's just like, do you know what? It really then does remind me, and I always get this each year, that actually whatever we're, pl we're preparing or planning to do and we're trying to set our hearts on something being perfect, do you know what? That is not what Christmas is all about. And that really pricked me uh, this couple of days that actually, do you know what, Bradley? You do this every year to yourself, all the preparations. Christmas is going to be amazing whether you, 
you kill yourself over it in regards to really running yourself into ground for the preparations for everything like that, making yourself unwell. And if anybody else is in that situation, we unnecessarily put Christmas in that high pedestal that it has to be perfect. Do you know what? Things aren't perfect in this life. And usually the things we remember, the things we treasure the most are times which weren't perfect and they were just spontaneous and they just happened. So do your preparations this year in a healthy uh, time scale. Do them which are healthy for you in terms of well-being. Give yourself a break. Allow time to sit down, enjoy things, enjoy company of your loved ones. Put on a Christmas film, make your, fa your favorite drink, have a beverage, sit down, relax, enjoy the season as well. Don't run yourself into the ground for it, which is what I've been doing. So I'm going to really try and concentrate on slowing things down now. Now, Christmas this time of year, I absolutely love it. I've said it a thousand times, I know already, but this season, I really do find that things change. People change. Everybody seems to have a spark about them with happiness. Of course, I always say this, we always have to be conscious and courteous that it is not for everybody for a number of reasons. A lot of people have been through difficult times at Christmas and people have been lost, loved ones, hearts are broken. So, Christmas means so much to so many people. It can mean good and bad for some people as well. So I think we should always just keep a healthy mindset of that too. But with Christmas and all of its glory and all of what it will bring in this season, let's just let it happen. Let's let it happen and enjoy it. Yes, prepare. Yes, prepare to have an amazing time. But you know what? It will. Anybody who sets out and says to themselves, do you know what? I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to take care of my loved ones. I'm going to throw myself into this. I'm going to be healthy minded. I'm going to be healthy bodily with this. I'm going to plan, write yourself a list, do it weekend by weekend. We haven't got many more weekends left, but day by day, evening by evening. And let's not just drive ourselves into the ground through it because Christmas is a special time. And if you don't look after yourself, the worst thing in the world is waking up Christmas day, feeling unwell, and then everybody else is enjoying it. And you can't. So really take care of yourself because at the end of the day, Christmas is all and all of its glory is going to happen. It will arrive. And it's up to you if you're going to be standing there healthy, well, with a big smile on your face, or if you're going to be feeling pretty under the weather. Yeah. You can tell I've had experience of doing that where I've just gone and gone and gone all throughout December. I've worked really hard. I've tried to juggle work, tried to do Christmas preparations, tried to help everybody else. And then I get there with a hearing imbalance. Um, uh, condition, inner ear sort of disorder, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't mix well with me, but a few other things in the background doesn't define me, of course. And I'm still me, and there is a lot of people worse off. But however, if you don't look after yourself, and that can just be if you've got no health issues as well. If you stress and stress and stress and stress over something, in the end, the anxiety and everything is just going to build up so much that actually you're preparing for it to be perfect. Well, actually, destroy it for you. So take care of yourself and just enjoy and let all of the glory of this season happen. And it will be a magical one, I can assure you that. So I really hope that I've hit home there with something there. And I really hope that everybody will join me in that. And um, yeah, let's take care of others and ourselves as well. And let's enjoy and have a magical time healthily together. God bless and take great care. And I will hopefully be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.